This is the first in a series of video tutorials for Harvest, the urban food production simulation plugin for UMI. In this first tutorial, we will present the tool and its simulation workflow. Harvest models controlled environment agriculture, which is an umbrella term for a large set of cultivation systems where the environment is controlled in order to extend crop growth period. The scope of this designation is broad enough to include very low-tech systems such as row covers or greenhouses set on field-grown crops, but also fully conditioned indoor farms using soilless cultivation techniques and artificial lighting. These indoor farms include container farms, an emerging trend that consists of growing crops in retrofitted shipping containers equipped with state-of-the-art hydroponic systems. The current version of Harvest only considers indoor hydroponic farms with artificial lighting and climate control. Variables that are controlled in CEA include the nutrients that are fed to the plants, the water supply, the indoor temperature, the artificial lighting, the air humidity, ventilation, air carbon concentration, and pests. Harvest integrates most of these variables into its workflow. The inputs of a simulation in Harvest include the weather file of the city that is being modeled, which can be found on the Energy Plus database of weather files, the geometry of the site, which can be modeled in Rhino or imported, the farm template library. Default libraries are automatically installed on your computer in the folder of your Harvest plugin. These libraries can be edited according to your project needs. And finally, the JSON of the urban food profile of the city that you are modeling. Default urban footprints are also automatically installed in your Harvest folder and you can also edit them before uploading them into Harvest. Harvest uses these inputs in its crop growth, water use and energy simulations and provides a series of key performance metrics that allow you to assess your design vis-a-vis -vis the existing supply chain for your city. Harvest displays the share of the food demand that is fulfilled on-site by the farms, the number of jobs created on-site by local food production, the amount of water used yearly by the farms, the site premiums that the occupants might have to pay for local produce, and the carbon balance, which is an indicator that shows you whether it is more sustainable to grow the vegetables on your site or to import them. And this is how Harvest displays all these indicators. In the next tutorial, we will go through the farm template libraries and we will explain crop classification and color codes.